Well, welcome to our second tutorial lesson in our lesson one about um, Python and um, Turtle. So you can see here in our previous, um, we have our program from a previous lesson here, our first program. So in Thonny here, I need to create a new script, a new file to put the new program into. So I'm going to come up to new, which is up here. And I now have a new script. You've got tab, you can go between the different scripts. You can have different scripts open at the same time. That's fine. So we're going to work on this one here, and this is going to be our first um, turtle program. Okay, so remember that's a comment at the top. It's got the hash at the beginning. It's ignored by the rest of the program. Now, Python operates in such a way that it's got a base set of commands, and if you want to use more commands, you can bring those commands from it, from elsewhere. So turtle, the turtle library, is is a library of commands that, that operate the turtle um, we use operate the turtle code. So I'm going to say import um, turtle and that's going to bring those commands in and, and I can actually access them now within Python. So I've now done that. The first thing I need to do is to create my turtle. So let's actually make a turtle. I'm going to call it my TTL. Um, so that's the actual name of the turtle that I'm going to put into the screen here. And what is it? Well, it is a taking the commands from the turtle library. Now, if I press a uh, dot here from the turtle library, I can, if I press tab, I can actually see all the commands that are available for me to use. Radio, all the different commands. But the turtle, I want to make this into a turtle. So my this is my turtle and it is a turtle um, which we've got that information from the turtle library okay so i've done that let's see what happens if i press play now predict it and what do you think is going to happen if i press play um so predict it remember we're using the whole um predict the whole prim process predict run investigate modify and make so you just predict before i run this what do you think is going to do hold that in your brain and let's have a look and yes, first thing we have to do is we have to save it. So L lesson one, shoot two, and then so what do you reckon it's going to do? Bang! It produces a big window. Um, and if I bring that window up here a little bit, you can see in the middle of the window there's a little arrow here, and that's our turtle. Okay, it's looking to the right. That's the direction that it's currently facing. That's forward. Um, so that is our turtle. So I'm just going to come up here to my um, Python turtle script in, in Thony and just go stop. So that stops that from running. Okay, so awesome. I've got a turtle. I've made a turtle. What can I do with that turtle? So let's have a look. Now, you now I talked about the um, dots before. So my TTL, I can do some, press the dot and go tab. And these are all the things I can tell my turtle to do. I can tell it to do a whole range of different things. Hide, invisible, there's a whole heap of them. Radio. Um, so I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell it, oh, let's make it move, here's one, um, forward. So I'm going to choose forward. F-O-R, not forward. Radio. So move forward. Awesome. How far do I want to move forward? Uh, let's make it 100. Okay. So I'm going to make it move forward 100. Now, again, I want you to predict what this is going to do. Hold that prediction in your mind and see what it's actually going to do. Right now, you can't see it because I've got to move it up here. But you can see my turtle started here and moved across that way and drew a line. That's cool. That is awesome. So what happens if I change? Let's do a bit of investigation. What happens if I change this to be 10? Right, and let's run that instead. Yep, and you can see it only moved a tenth of the way because you know a ten is a tenth of a hundred, and it's actually what this measuring is is moving ten pixels across, and we all know what pixels are because we've talked about that in our previous tutorials. So pixels, ten pixels across the screen. So let's move back out to one hundred. Now I'm actually getting a little bit um a little bit tired of having to move that screen around, so I'm going to change this. So the actual screen, come up to here, press enter, enter, and I'm going to move the screen and change the screen around so it's not going to be as big as what I wanted to do. So I'm going to call it a window. Let's call it a window. And again, the turtle 
library gives me the capacity to do some things. So I'm going to choose screen and it's going to say, okay, the window is a screen out of turtle, which is what pops up there. And I want the window. I'm now going to change the setup of the window to be 500 by 500 and close that bracket out. Okay, so the window is 500 by 100 as the setup of that window. So let's just try running this. And ah, oh, much better. Much, much better. You can see here, there is the actual window. It's much smaller, it's not as huge. Still can't get it to center up on there because it's centering on my bigger monitor. But anyway, that's cool. So we've got the window, it's moving across. It's one, um, one, hundred pixels across so I'm gonna stop you right so what else can we do hmm. well it's called a turtle so why don't we actually change it? instead of being an arrow why don't we actually change it to being a turtle so let's have a look I need to change the actual shape of my turtle to being um, no change the shape which is this dot uh, shape I've just typed two in there are shape there we are and what shape do I want it to be I want it to be a turtle now you just can't type any here there is actually default settings you can possible settings you can have of what it is so let's see if I change that so predict it what do you reckon is gonna happen if I change this one and yes again my shape is now a turtle awesome right so what else can we do um Let's make this turtle is just drawing a straight line is pretty pointless. So let's actually add something else in here. Let's say my turtle and I want it to let's say let's make it turn left. Okay. And how if I want I'll make it turn 90 degrees left. Right, and let's run that. Bang. So you can see now the turtle's moved across and it's turned and it's now facing 90 degrees left. Okay. That's cool. What happens if I put another 100 in there as well? Right, so if I do that, again, I want you to stop. I want you to predict and see what you think is going to happen if it goes forward um, 100, turns 90 degrees, and goes forward 100. So I'm going to take that prediction, hold it, and let's go. And yes, it's... It's moved forward. It's moved forward and up to the left. So, oh, I've lost it. So, close it. There we are. So, there we are. That's our basic little move maneuvers for Turtle. So, from here, you have got three exercises to do. That's lesson one, exercise one, lesson two, exercise three. So, um, go off and do those exercises, and then we're going to be ready for lesson two.